Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic equations by factoring. So we have here this example, and later on, we will talk about this problem. Because a lot of you are requesting for grade 9 topics in mathematics. So this is the first topic that you will encounter in solving quadratic equations when you are in grade 9 mathematics. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So before we start answering this equation or finding the solution of this equation, let's try first these first two examples. So by the way guys, when we are doing solving quadratic equations, uh, what we need to do or what is the purpose of that is that we will try we are trying to find the values of x or what are the possible values of x to make this whole equation be equal to zero. And one of the process or one of the ways on how to solve a quadratic equation is by factoring. So let's start with item number one and number two. In number one and number two, we will use greatest common factoring. So as you can see, we have x squared minus 5x is equal to zero. So we need to think of a greatest common factor from both x squared and negative 5x. And as you can see, when we talk about the coefficients, wala tayong common factor. Pero pag tinignan niyo yung variable, we have the common factor which is the variable x. And after that, to get the other factor, what you need to do is you will divide the first term, x squared by x. Again, x squared it goes like this, x squared over x. So x squared over x or x squared is divided by x is simply x. That is the first term of the second factor. And to get the next term of this, you will divide negative 5. You will divide negative 5x by your greatest common factor, which is x. And negative 5x divided by x is negative 5. So what we have now is, what we have here, the factors are x times x minus 5, then equal to 0. So what is the next step after factoring? So you will equate both factors by 0. So you will equate this first factor by 0, and that is x is equal to 0. Actually, this one is already considered as an answer. So we will name this as x sub 1. So for the next factor, we have x minus 5 is equal to 0. So what we need to do is to manipulate this one. Since this one is negative 5, we will add 5, both sides of the equation. So what we have now is, this will become 0. We have x is equal to 0 plus 5, which is equal to 5. Other content creators, what we what they do is that this negative 5, you, they will transpose this term to make it positive 5. So parehas lang naman yun. So walang, pa, walang problem dun. So what we have here uh, x sub 1 is equal to 0 and x sub 2 is equal to 5 these are the roots or the solutions of the quadratic equations x squared minus 5x is equal to 0 so let's continue we have here negative 4 uh, sorry 4x squared minus 6x is equal to 0 so as you can see for from the coefficients we have 4 and negative 6 so what we have here the factors are for the, from the coefficient, uh, we have positive 2. And as for the variable, x squared and x, the other is x. So our greatest common factor right now is 2x. So how to get the second factor? We will divide 4x squared by 2x, and that will be 2x. Next, negative 6x divided by 2x, that is equal to negative 3. And then equate by 0. So if you want to check whether your factors are correct, you can reverse the process. You can multiply it 1 by 1. You can multiply 2x by 2x, and that will be 4x squared. We have 2x times negative 3, and that is negative 6x. So let's continue. The first factor is 2x. Equate by 0. Then solve for x. Divide by 2, and divide by 2. Cancel, cancel. Your x now is 0 divided by 2 is still 0. So this is now our x sub 1. So let's continue. For the second factor, we have 2x minus 3 
is equal to 0. So here, instead of adding 3, I will just transpose this to make it easier. So we have now 2x is equal to, remember, eh, when you're transposing a term, it will change. you need to change the, the sign. From negative 3, it will become positive 3. Okay? So what we have now is 2x to be divided by 2, divided by 2, cancel, cancel, your x is equal to 3 over 2. And this will serve as x sub 2. So now, what are the roots? The roots of the equation, or the quadratic equation, is 0 and 3 over 2. So, after item number 1 and number 2, let's continue doing item number 3 and number 4. For item number 3 and number 4, we will incorporate um, difference of two squares. From item number 1 and number 2 kasi, ginawa natin dun, we use greatest common factoring. This one, ito, meron tayong pattern. Ang pattern natin ganito, ha? you have x squared minus y squared. When you factor this 2, that is equal to x plus y times x minus y. So, let's try to get the factors of this, you need to get the uh, square root of x squared, that is x. So prepare tayo ng two parentheses, x and x. Okay? To get the second factor, or the second term, the square root of 49 is 7. And 7. Now follow the pattern, this one is positive, or plus, and this one is subtraction. So sir, can we interchange the two factors? Yes. Is it possi It's possible to have x minus 7 times x plus 7 and then equal to 0. Then since we have two factors, we can equate both factors by 0. That is x plus 7 is equal to 0. And the other is x minus 7 is equal to 0. So what's next? Is we will transpose this to the other side. From positive, it will become negative. So that is x sub 1 is equal to negative 7. This is the first solution or root of x squared minus 49. Let's continue. Transpose this to the other side. From negative, it will become positive. So it, that is x sub 2 is equal to positive 7. And these are the roots of x squared minus 49 is equal to 0. We have negative 7 and positive 7. Let's move on with nine, number 4. We have 3x squared minus 75. So as you can see, um, we cannot use directly the difference of two squares. Pero, pwede mo na tayo factor As you can see, we have 3 and 75. So, factor mo na natin, that is 3 times 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared. Negative 75 divided by 3, that is minus 25 is equal to 0. Next, as you can see, this pattern is the same as this pattern. So we can factor out x squared minus 25 like this. We have 3 times, prepare two parentheses, and then get the square root of this, that is x and the x. The square root of 25 is 5 and 5. So magkaiba dapat plus minus is equal to 0. Ngayon, we have 3 factors. We have 3, x plus 5, and x minus 5. Ang equate lang natin dito is yung x plus 5 and x minus 5. So what we have here is x plus 5 is equal to 0. x minus 5 is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side. You have x is equal to negative 5 as your x sub 1. This is your first root or solution. Transpose this to the other side, that is x is equal to positive 5. And this will be your x sub 2. And these are the roots of 3x squared minus 75 is equal to 0. Now let's continue with number 5 and number 6. This one is a trinomial. So let me remove this paper. Now, as you can see, uh, we cannot use greatest common factoring and difference of two squares. 
what we have here is a trinomial wherein we need to factor out this one, pero in different pattern. Okay, so let's try. Whenever I'm encountering this kind of quadratic equations, I'm preparing two different parentheses, then equal to zero. Since our first term is x squared or it has the coefficient of 1, I automatically will place x and x here. So my, my main problem here are the second terms of the two factors. So how I will going to how am I am I going, going to uh, to find the second terms of the two factors? I will consider first negative fifteen. So we have negative fifteen. I will think of factors of negative fifteen that will make or that has the sum of negative 2. Again, I will find the factors of negative 15 that has the sum of negative 2. So what are the possible factors? Ito mga factors natin. In negative 15, um, the nearest factors are negative 5 times 3 and positive 5 times negative 3. As you can see, the two fa set of factors are also equal to negative 15. But what we need to think is that anong sa dalawa ang merong sum na negative 2. So again, when we try negative 5 plus 3, that is negative 2. So definitely, these are the possible second terms. Sir, what about 5 times negative 3? Try to add 5 and negative 3. That will give you positive 2. And what we're trying to figure out is how are we going to get negative 2. Okay? So, second terms are negative 5 and plus 3. So, in this case, we can continue solving the equations. First factor, x minus 5 is equal to 0. And then the other is x plus 3 is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side. That is x is equal to positive 5. This is your x sub 1. Next, x plus 3 transpose positive 3 to the other side. That will become negative. That is x is equal to negative 3. That will serve as your x sub 2. And right now, these are the solutions or the roots of x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. Now, for number 6, this will be your assignment. What are the factors, or I mean, what are the solutions of x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0? Comment down below. Now, let's move on with our first example. In our first example, we have here, x squared plus 3x minus 28. So, let's figure out what are the factors first of negative 28. But before that pala, we will prepare two sets of parentheses. Okay? Then equal to 0. So, continue natin. We have negative 28. For negative 28, our target here is to find the factors of negative 28 that will give us the sum of positive 3. So, when we talk about the possible factors of negative 28, the nearest pairs are negative 7 and times 4. The other pair is positive 7 times negative 4. So again, don't get me wrong because 1 times 28, uh, 1 times negative 28 or negative 1 times 28 are still possible factors of negative 28. But what we're trying to figure out here is that the factors must give us the positive 3. So, ito yung pinakamalapit. Let's try. Negative 7 plus 4, that is negative 3. So, it's not possible. So, 7 plus negative 4, that is positive 3. So, what we have now, these are the possible factors or possible factors of negative 28. So, get the square root of x squared. That is x and x. Next, we have plus 7, then minus 
4. So since we already have the factors, we will equate each factor by 0. We have x plus 7 is equal to 0. And the other factor is x minus 4 is equal to 0. Get this one. Transpose to the other side of the equation. That is x is equal to negative 7. So this is now your x sub 1. For your second factor, transpose negative 4 to the other side. This will become positive. So x sub 2 is equal to positive 4. So, voila! These are the possible roots or solutions of the first quadratic equations in our given problem. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, you can follow me sa ating Facebook page, Ako si Teacher God. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!